Rancher and Bigfoot Show. All right now. Well, folks, uh, thanks for joining us again on the Noisy Outdoor Adventure and Bigfoot Show. Uh, we are here at the Mount St. Helens uh, Discovery Center uh, outside of Silver Lake, Washington. Uh, we're going to do some hiking here today um, and uh, just look around. Uh, this is a pretty unique area. Uh, as anybody knows, uh, Mount St. Helens erupted probably 15, 20 years ago. And, um, you know, here recently, about four or five years ago, there was also a lot of activity. And so uh, they expect it to go off again. Uh, they don't know when, but uh, it's pretty neat to come here and check this area out uh, to see, uh, see what it's like before. Um, Discovery Center is really awesome if you're ever in this area. Uh, I would uh, encourage you to stop in there and visit. And if you get a chance to go up to the observatory, uh, Mount St. Helens at Johnson Lake, uh, do that. It's, it's extremely awesome. We've been there one time before, but we didn't really get to stop and hike around like we are today. Um, so we're pretty excited about being able to go on this trail here. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome trail uh, around this lake and uh, to check it out. Um, uh, but, you know, we've recently heard from uh, some of our local people here in this area that there has been a lot of activity uh, within the Bigfoots. Uh, so we're excited to see what we can see as we um, look around here. Not sure we'll see anything here at the Discovery Center, you know, because there's a lot of um, a lot of human activity here. But it uh, doesn't mean we won't run into some signs, you know. But as we uh, look in other places, uh, we'll see uh, hopefully some signs of of Bigfoot activity. Um, we're real excited to be here. Like I said, we were here about a year ago, uh, but we didn't get to do much hiking, so um, we wanted to come back and and show you this area. You know, we do this for you. Uh, some of you can't get out here, so, uh, you know, we uh, want to bring you the best free show money can buy. And for those of you who can get out here, we really encourage you to get out here and check this out. Hope you can see that amazing tree that's right behind us. That's pretty cool right there. So, uh, once again, thanks to our sponsors, DG Gifts, www.dggifts.com. Uh, Jeremy Arno, www.jeremyarno.com, where there are no excuses and the parries for the GoPro. Folks, once again, we're excited to be here and we hope you enjoy today's show. Good morning folks, welcome back to um, the Noisy Outdoor Adventure and Bigfoot Show. We're here at Silver Lake at Spillway. We're going to do a little fly fishing. Here in the state of Washington, uh, you can fish for carp without, any, without a fishing license, so we're going to try to catch one on our fly rod today. I want to thank Chris Bird for bringing us out here and uh, helping us out on today's show. Really appreciate you guys joining us and hopefully we'll catch a nice sized carp and um, be able to throw it back or whatever. Be nice to catch one today. Hope you're enjoying today's show, folks.
Well folks, uh, no luck here today, uh, maybe because it's too windy, or maybe there's no fish in there, but we had no luck today, but it's always nice to get out and fish. Um, so you ever get a, when you get the opportunity, take the opportunity to get outdoors and fish or hike or do whatever uh, you need to do in the great outdoors, but get outdoors, it always does something to your, to your mind and, and to your body to get outdoors. So take that opportunity and, and hike, fish, whatever it is, but get outdoors. Uh, thanks again for joining us and uh, really appreciate uh, our sponsors, DG Gifts, Jeremy Arno, and the Perrys for the GoPro. Well, folks, it's been quite the adventure so far. I hope you ever enjoyed it. You know, one of the greatest things about this episode so far is watching Chris fish with his son. Um, you know, that's going to mean so much to, to his son as he grows up. And I'd like to encourage you folks um, to take somebody fishing, take somebody hiking. You know, invest in their lives. Um, it's going to, you know, make a huge impact on them. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be fishing, but fishing's always fun. You know, hiking. Take some time. You know, whether you're a dad, a grandpa, uncle, or just a mentor, you know, invest in the kids' lives, you know, get them outdoors, get them off the PlayStation, uh, get them off that phone a little bit, you know, and, and show them how to fish, how to do something outdoors. Um, that's something they're really going to um, enjoy later on in life. So, you know, once again, it was a, such a great thing to watch Chris uh, fish with the son. I've had the opportunity to, to go with some other dads like my buddy JC and... Um, my buddy Ryan, as they've taught their kids how to fish, and you know, it's always a pleasure. It's always something um, awesome just to sit back and watch them and listen to the kids' excitement in their voice as they're reeling in the pole, as they got a fish on, or, or whatever the case may be. They're always excited just to be out there and, and having somebody show them what to do. So, um, once again, thanks to all you dads who get out, and or grandpas, or men who get out and invest in the kids lives and, and you know really not just men but you know ladies too moms aunts grandpas grandmas you know everybody who takes some time to invest in the kids lives um, it's making it better for everybody else so we really appreciate it once again folks thanks for joining us and uh, we hope you're enjoying today's show it's just it's going to be awesome well folks once again we've changed locations we're about maybe years ago since Mount St. Helen erupted. Well, uh, after doing a little bit more research, found out it was in 1980 in May. So that's been about 25 years ago uh, that Mount St. Helen's erupted. As you can see, it's raining here, but we're going to try to get in and get a hike anyway. And uh, we'll see some elk. Uh, once again, thanks for joining the show today. Thanks to our, our guest, our uh, Chris Bird, for bringing us up here. And thanks to our sponsors, DG Gifts. Well, folks, um, we made it down this far. It's pretty awesome here, as you can see from behind me. Um, as you can tell from the trail, it's pretty nice. It doesn't go very far, and they ask you to stop. So, out of respect to following the law, we're going to go ahead and stop. But it's uh, pretty awesome here. I would encourage you once again, um, if you ever get in this area, to come check it out. You know, again, maybe not a bucket list item, but a place that uh, you should have come to see. Um, 
you know, 1980 was uh, in May, a lot of this area was lost to the volcano, you know, but it's starting to make a comeback even 25 years later. And um, we wanted to come check it out, be able to do a little hike in here. Once again, you know, folks, it's awesome just to be in the outdoors, you know, and every chance you can get, you do something to your psyche, you do something to your mental health to get out here and, and check it out, even when it's raining like it is today. Um, we get to be out here and smell the smell the fresh air. I do believe this is a, a great habitat for Bigfoots are in this area. Um, you uh, see how um, how the forest is overgrown and uh, how much trees there are and uh, the habitat. There's elk in this area. There's water. There's a river. So. Everything leads me to believe that um, there are Bigfoots in this area, and I think when you talk to the locals, they will also tell you that there are Bigfoots in this area. Folks, thanks again for joining us. I um, want to give a shout out to uh, to Jeremy Arno. You know, if you're in need of a, a motivational uh, guy, somebody to help your business, you know, or help you one-on-one, -on -one, uh, go to jeremyarno.com and and get in touch with Jeremy. He does great things with uh, individuals and groups. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with Jeremy over the last couple years and uh, one of the best in the business, guys. One of the best in the business. So we're going to start our way back up the hill and I uh, hope you're enjoying it today's show. Even in the rain, doing great things today. Well, folks, as we're climbing back up to the top, it gets a little difficult, and that kind of reminds me of life. You know, sometimes life is hard, struggling just to get up to the top, to the next hill, but we have to keep pushing on. That's how we get better. You know, I've said it once, and I'll say it again. There's only really two things in life that we can control. That's our attitude and effort. And in times like this, when it gets a little difficult, that's when you got to have a good attitude, put in all your effort. Life ain't always going to be easy. Sometimes it's just going to be plain tough. Whether you be on the basketball court, the football field, or personal in your life, you can still control your attitude and effort. One step at a time. Keep going. Attitude and effort. It's what you control. And I. Outdoor adventure and Bigfoot show.